So the film is actually a story of the new generation in India today. Um, and um, I grew up in Delhi myself and I had heard about this mythical magical drug M cream in the hills. And um, I had a lot of friends who had made this journey um, in search of this uh, magical drug. And um, so I thought this was an interesting premise to actually make, uh, make a film about the new generation in India today. And um, so the film is essentially that. It's a portrait of the new generation and it's a story about these four friends who set out from Delhi um, and um, in, search of, in search of this magical drug. Okay, uh, on what ground did you zero down the stars of the film? You know? So we realized early on that we didn't want to go with the typical stars or, you know, celebrity film actors because the story is actually, it's a very realistic story and it's also a story where there's a lot of subtext. Um, so we needed actors who could actually bring that subtext out to the surface. So I, I think we were very lucky to get the cast that we do have, which is some of the best theatre actors, actors and actresses in India today, um, namely Imad Shah, of course, son of Nasiruddin Shah, and Ira Dubey, um, who play the two leads, along with Orithar Ghosh and Raghav Chanana. And then we also were very lucky to have actors like Tom Alter, who's a veteran in Bollywood, and Barry John, who's, of course, uh, one of our best uh, acting gurus and coaches. Um, we also have this wonderful French actress, Beatrice O'Day, who, does, who teaches acting and theatre. So it was very uh, interesting and um, a very dynamic dynamic bunch of people that I think we were able to bring on board and all of them really saw the script, they read the script and they really enjoyed it. So that was, that was the idea behind okay, that. I've seen the trailer, the trailer looking really promising, you know, especially, you know, the, the most important part in the trailer, if you see, you know, through an Indian audience point of view, the love making scene is so well planned, so well ex executed. Tell us what was your brief to the actors, you know, while shooting the entire sequence? Both Orithra Ghosh and Raghav Chanana, who uh, perform in the lovemaking scene, which has been creating a lot of waves. Um, I think uh, we actually sat down and had a discussion with them both. And I think the three of us really did, under, I mean, we, we did realize that, it's, that it was important to depict this scene. And because this film is essentially a film about the new generation today in all its glory. And uh, I mean, of course, there's the drugs, there's the sex and the rebellion. And we wanted to show a very realistic act side to that. We didn't want to sugarcoat it. We didn't want to beat around the bush. And I think as actors, they were brave enough to push the envelope. And of course, we discussed it. And we have shown the film in various film festivals where people have commented on this scene as well. Um, and I think a lot of people have, um, I mean, of course, you know, been taken aback because you haven't seen a film, a scene like this in Indian cinema before. But of course, I think it's very aesthetically done. It's very powerful. And uh, the other lovemaking scene also with Imad Shah and Ira Dube equally, I think, um, was we discussed that as well. And of course, I mean, you have to leave it up to the actors, but we had actors who were willing to, uh, you know, push the envelope and both Orithra and Raghav really were on board with that. And um, I think, you know, it I think these are the actors who are really going to change Indian cinema and the landscape of Indian cinema with the willingness to experiment and their bravery, essentially. Okay, you know, briefing is always, uh, it's not a big deal. When, when, you, when you shot the entire sequence, uh, what, was, what was, you know, what, what was the entire atmosphere at that moment of time and how you shot it, you know, uh, how many people were there on the set of that so-called day or moment, if you can talk about it. Yeah. I had, of course, discussed uh, the sex scene with both Orithra and Raghav, and we all were on the same page. And, you know, earlier on, they'd also said that they were willing to, you know, push the envelope because this is an indie film, it's a radical film. And we wanted to obviously, uh, we wanted to, you know, kind of push the boundaries of Indian cinema, uh, to put it plainly. And, of course, do it in a way that's aesthetic and uh, that's true to the story. So, um, initially, of course, they were a bit awkward and hesitant and... Uh, so we, you know, ordered a bottle of wine for everyone to relax and uh, chill out and just go over it. And uh, I think both of them were willing to kind of like really, you know, push, uh, push the envelope. Um, I think, of course, uh, Orithra was a little more hesitant, uh, understandably so, uh, than Raghav. But both of them kind of, um, I mean, they were initially awkward, but uh, once we started rolling, I think they really were able to get into the scene. And um, I mean, it was an incredible performance, as you can as you can tell once you see the film, but um, I think they really got it in the first take pretty much. And uh, um, we didn't really have to work too much with that. Um, it really, I mean, it was, it was amazing. It just, it just happened. And uh, 
I think I really do commend both of them because uh, they were brave enough to do a scene like this. And, um, and I'm sure that a lot of people will notice this. And I'm sure that it will help redefine the way lovemaking scenes are being made in Bollywood and in, in cinema. Because no one has been this brave or this radical, I think. Um, and uh, this, I think this is the first for Indian cinema. So congratulations to them and uh, also to the censor board that um, allowed us to showcase the scene as is without any cuts. There have been a lot of lovemaking scenes as, as we know in Bollywood and Indian cinema in general. Uh, I think a lot of them have been a bit tepid, a bit conservative and uh, I think the actors haven't really you know, pushed the envelope there. But um, as you can, I mean, as you will see in our, in our film, I think that both the lovemaking scenes are quite intense, um, explicit as well, um, but I think more importantly, realistic to, to what they're meant to be and realistic to the story and to the, um, and to the truth of the, the film. Um, and I'm really thankful, of course, to the actors, A, who were willing to experiment, um, who were willing to be brave enough to, um, to go with this kind of a scene and sequence. And of course, the censor board as well, which surprisingly in our case, uh, really appreciated the sequences and passed the film without any cuts. Now, you know, in Urta Punjab, they, they have shown co cocaine and all. Now, you have, how, what do you have to say about this, you know? So a lot of people have been comparing our film with Urta Punjab and uh, ironically we had even met Vikram Aditya Motwane before um, and we didn't know that they were making a film on cocaine and heroin. And I think that film has of course created waves and that's brilliant and um, uh, it's been very well received and of course it's raised a controversy which I think has opened a lot of new doors for um, you know Indian cinema and uh, for Indian filmmakers as well. Um, of course, the two drugs that are being depicted, um, heroin and cocaine in uh, Urta Punjab and um, marijuana in our film, of course, are completely different. Marijuana is actually not even a drug, it's a herb. And um, it's been used in Indian culture for many, many years, hundreds of years, actually. Um, in fact, uh, India had opposed the US-led US UN convention to ban marijuana, I think in the 50s, 1950s. And... Um, um, so I think it's really ironical that today, when the United States has de decriminalized marijuana, when so many countries in Europe are allowing people to smoke marijuana, when there's so much medical proof and evidence of the benefits, therapeutic benefits of marijuana and cannabis, I think it's very hypocritical that here in India, where we have actually the best hash and marijuana in the world, that we have not legalized it or decriminalized it at least. So I do hope that this film um, is able to... Uh, you know, open that debate. Um, of course, the film is a lot more than just about marijuana or drugs, but I do hope that's, that it's able to open a debate um, within society because I think there is a generational shift. I think a lot of young people want the drug to be legalized and, of course, understand the importance of uh, and the benefits of marijuana and the fact that it's not, you know, the same thing as cocaine or heroin. That's something I think that the older generation needs to know about, that the government needs to know about, and, of course, that the health authorities also need to know about. Okay, you know, apart from this, uh, what do you think is, is, will be the USP of the film, you know, the, uh, the way, the content, uh, or who is the better performer in your film, Ira is there, Imad is there, Ghosh is there, the Chanana is there, mm -hmm. who is the better performer, you know? I think uh, all of them have done a brilliant job, actually. Um, I mean, all of their roles are very different from one another, like all the four characters are very different, so it's very hard to say who's done the best. Um, I think that each of them actually has done uh, a great job. You know, it's very hard for me as the director to say. Of course, I think Imad, in his case, uh, he's very similar to the character in real life. So for him, it, it came very naturally and it was almost the perfect fit. Ira Dubey, on the other hand, is actually quite different as a person uh, to the character she plays. So in her case, it was a challenge, but I think she really nailed it and did an amazing job as well. Uh, or it's her Ghosh. Um, also plays, uh, you know, some a character that's also kind of different from her, uh, kind of similar, kind of different. Um, and um, I think she's also done a, a fantastic job. And Raghav too, all of them. So, um, I mean, all these characters, I think, are very relatable to people. Uh, they're not your typical, you know, uh, superficial cookie-cut character. They're, they're actually, they have a lot of layers, textures. And, and these guys have really been able to, to bring that to life. Imad is already, Imad is a part of the, part of the project, part of your film. 
uh, were you planning to show the film to Nasir Saab? You know, his reaction, his view is always very important. Do you have something like with that in you know in your in your in your mind somewhere down the line? You are planning to a special screening might be for Nasir Saab. Right. So actually, um, before we release the film, we are doing a, a special screening, um, and uh, we would of course be inviting uh, Nasir Din Shah and um, uh, many of the actors will be there, including our cast, which uh, includes Barry John, um, and of course even Ira's mother, who's a um, theatre actress, Lilette Dubé. So I think they are very curious to see the film, they want to see the film, and um, I'm really excited for, for them to see it and to see what their response is as well. Okay, did Nasir Saab saw the trailer, what, 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 what is his reaction? I don't know if he's seen the trailer yet, to be honest. I'm sure he has, uh, but I, I don't know what his reaction is, but I should ask him out about that. Okay, what message do you want to give to the audience why they come and be a part of your film and cream anyways getting released? <clears throat> I think it's very important for uh, young people to stand up and uh, to, um, to speak out against injustice. Uh, this film is really about uh, finding yourself as a person, finding your voice. And um, I mean, it's not so much about drugs or sex or what have you. It's more about actually uh, a positive change in society. And I think young people are at the center of that, uh, at the vanguard of a new rebellion. So I, I think it's a film that um, is kind of a reflection of, of what we are experiencing and witnessing in India today as far as the youth rebellion and the youth struggles go and as far as what being a young person is. Um, so I think for them it's hopefully a film that will um, that they'll relate to, but also one that would perhaps inspire them. Um, and, um, and yeah, and hopefully it can open, uh, it can raise a lot of questions and uh, open a few debates along those lines.